Welcome to Black and Gold Today, brought to you by Ray Brandt Infinity. I'm Rachel Whitaker. Monday was about Mark Ingram, so let's talk defensive free agents here in studio with Saints beat writer Evan Woodbury. Well, Evan, nice to see you. Good to see you. Well, first let's look at the Saints defensive free agents here on the screen. We start off with cornerback Patrick Robinson, safety Jamarca Sanford, defensive tackle Brandon Dederick, defensive end Tyron Walker, and three linebackers Paris Harrelson, Ramon Humber, and and Moise Foku. So there's no doubt the Saints defense has many questions to answer. You know, a 31st ranking will prompt those. But Evan, who on that list is someone you think really should stay? Well, I think the most intriguing name on that list is Tyron Walker, and he's a restricted free agent, which right. means the Saints have a decision to make about him, whether they're going to extend a, an offer sheet for him. Um, they could pursue him as an unrestricted free agent, even if they don't, but I think they'd really like him back. He's a guy they've invested three years in developmentally. He was an undrafted pick uh, several years ago, and so I think they've already invested a lot of time and effort into him. They'd love to have him back, and he really showed some promise this season in getting the first significant snaps of his career. The other guys on that list, those are veterans. You could probably bring most of them back at veteran minimum, minimum contracts. Mm -hmm. Some of them can fill in some holes on special teams. So I think we'll see some people from that list back, but I think the one you'd really focus on is Tyron Walker. Interesting. I, yeah, I do agree with you. He's somebody that's had, that's had some good moments on the defensive line. And Patrick Robinson, he's had some bright spots, we know, with those two interceptions this season. And I don't see a huge market for him. So if the Saints want to bring him back for cheap, I think they definitely could. Yeah, and I think he's someone that they could bring back mm -hmm. because they like him a lot. He's a good character guy. Uh, he's been through some tough times, obviously, but has never been a negative influence in the locker room. And he's a guy that you could keep as an extra defensive back, maybe play some on special teams. Um, you know, he's a, he's a guy, a veteran that would be helpful at the bottom of the roster. Probably not a guy you'd want to pencil in into a starting role, and he's probably not going to get a starting role anywhere in the NFL, but as a reserve, as a special teams guy, I think he could provide some value if they can get him at a, a smaller contract. Definitely. And also, you know, in the secondary, the Saints like their core at safety, I think. They just got decimated by injuries there. Jarris Bird, Raphael Bush, even Vinny Sinceri. So, Jamarcus Sanford on there, somebody they brought in this season. Uh, I think he might be expendable, maybe on special teams, stick around. Yeah, he, I think their depth at special or at uh, safety mm -hmm. gives them some flexibility there. But I think they'll say this about Jamarcus Sanford, is that he probably earned a job somewhere in the NFL by his mm -hmm. play in the final few weeks. It may not be the Saints because the Saints have so many safeties once they're all healthy, but I think by the way he played in the final three or four weeks of the season, he will find a job somewhere in 2015. And, you know, he was a guy that was a free agent, a veteran, was trying to extend his career, and I think he effectively extended it by another year by the way he played. Should pretty much wrap up our free agent talk until until March comes around when the new league starts up, or the new league year, rather, starts up again. Thanks a lot. Thank you. And up next, we're back to Saints Trivia. Designing luxury with children in mind could be a little excessive, but we found the perfect balance with the Infinity QX60 featuring effortless third row access. Welcome back. Well, let's jump right to our title game themed question. We ask, who scored the first touchdown in Saints NFC Championship history? Well, you know the drill. Think it over and send your answers by Thursday to rwhitaker at nola.com for a chance to win a Saints prize. That's all for now. See you tomorrow.